If you're on Twitch, you've probably heard about their new service called Twitch Prime, which is included with an Amazon Prime subscription. You get free in-game loot every month, which this month includes the new Hearthstone Priest hero, Tarande. He's free, since Amazon Prime has a 30-day trial subscription. Along with the benefits of Amazon Prime, such as free 2-day shipping and unlimited streaming of movies and TV shows with Prime Video, you'll also be able to view Twitch ad-free and get a free channel subscription. And if you already have Amazon Prime, you can link that account to your Twitch account, which will give you Twitch Prime for free. One of the greatest shows of support that you can give me is to use that free channel subscription on my Twitch channel, so that I can enjoy the monies. Thanks. Now to celebrate Tyrande, it's time for the Tyrande Whisperwind Arena. The goddess calls. She does look good. What's the uh, what's the chances of getting twelve with Priest? Yeah, it's like a hundred percent ish. <laughs> Let's do it then. All right, since uh, you're the guest here, I'll let you pull out the picks. I'll yeah? tell you whether or not I disagree or slash agree. Uh, I'm gonna get embarrassed here. Uh, let's see. I mean, we've got pro player VLPS recently beat me in a best of five priest v priest constructed. Welcome to my world now, I guess. I'm kind of both. All right, I would say Shadowward Horror here. Hold on, we're 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 really doing this, right? <laughs> I don't know. It seems like it would be good in arena. I don't know. All right, Onyx Bishop. But are you serious? I I think either of those two would be decent. Okay, well, I agree on the bishop. Pretty good card. Is Shadow Word Horror really that bad? In <laughs> I think it's really bad. I'm just envisioning getting like overwhelmed by a bunch of weak two and two. I don't know two attack creatures. I don't know. That's just the dream world that I have for Arena. Man, two uh, attack let's... creatures in Arena. All right, let's see here. These are all kind of meh. I'd probably go with the uh, Murloc Tide Hunter. Yeah. Man, that Bishop synergy. Divine Spirit could be good depending on the rest of our deck. Dragonhawk's not a bad, you know, it's a decent statted three drop. Um, I'd probably just go with the Divine Spirit in the hopes of getting some uh, value out of it in the game at one point. Yeah, have you done Arena since the change to making sure that some of the cards are not in anymore? I haven't done Arena in about six months. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, the good news is Priest did get buffed quite a bit, uh, like oh, you yeah? mentioned. They got, I think, Inner Fire reduced, for example. So you can't do the Divine Spirit and her Fire Cheese anymore, but you can't. Uh, oh, okay. You can't pick quite a few of the bad priest cards now. Anyways, I think I go uh, Tide Hunter. Um, just Tide two Hunter. drops are really important. It's all about okay. tempo and arena these days, and especially with priest, I think. Gotcha. Um, I'm liking the Silver Moon here. Get some Onyx Bishop value. That does have synergy. It's true. Did you know that Nubian Prophet's actually insane in arena? Is it? It's really, really good. It's like uh it's like the thing from below, basically. Let's do it. It's the arena thing from below. Oh, uh, this one's easy. Priest of the Feast. Um. Like that. Based on everything you're telling me, like I feel like Entomb is probably not even that good in arena. It's a lot less good than people would give it credit for, even though I think it's still alright. Like Assassinate is alright in Arena as well. You like in the Entomb here or the uh, loot hoarder? I think you could actually make a case for either one. I feel like it'll be easier to fill out the early game later on, whereas we might not get a you know a control card in the six slot later on, like in Tomb. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, picking too early game Murloc Tide Hunters probably helps out in not getting loot hoarder here. Yeah. I, I mean, I think a lot of people would be surprised with the not instant in Tomb, but it isn't that good in Arena. This is a pretty easy one. I'd go with the uh, Cultist. Yeah, good old classic Cultist. I'm liking the Dragonkin here. Really? The 4 mana 3-5? The dragon? Yeah. You got the horse rider. Like, that's actually a good constructed card. So I thought you would... You like the horse rider? I mean, I don't know, man. I'm trying to get greedy here. I'm trying to get some, uh... Uh, yeah. I mean, horse rider's not bad either. We'll go horse rider. You'd run out of tempo by the time you got to play a 4 mana 3-5, I think. Uh, I guess another silver moon. Zubot. Wait, how many... Uh, we do have some murlocs. Got that murloc. Some... Yeah. That's the hard um, one to get. Yeah, Zubot might not be that bad, actually. Yeah. In fact, if you hit anything in Arena with the Zubot, it's like a 3 mana 4. But the Tidehunter Zubot, the curve. Ooh, I'm liking target dummy here. <laughs> uh, let's see. I mean, so the Avian Watcher is going to be a 3-6 three, three, with no no other battle cry effects. Bookworm, we could potentially get value from it later on, but that is most likely going to be a 3-6 as well later on with no value, no battle cry value. 
Mm. I say just take the Avian Washer based on that. That's actually fair. Um, I'm not going to say that's wrong. I am going to try to convince you towards Bookworm, though. It's kind of early. We might get uh, Dragons. Plus, yeah, in Arena, you can pick up Twilight Wealth. Okay. And some other Let's ones. Go for it. I mean, yeah, if, it ever, if that battle probably ever gets value, it's going to be insane. Uh, ooh, Shredder. I know Shredder. Shredder's just a good card. Shredder's great. Powered Shield's also really good. Um, I'll go Shredder since I don't have Force. I almost forgot that uh, Arena is not standard. Hmm. How long I've, that's how long I haven't played Arena for. I think Bluegill is just bad, even though the Zubat's energy is there. <laughs> yeah. I feel like Scarlet Crusader is pretty good in Arena. Yeah, pretty good. It's a good tempo card. Oh, they're pretty good. Ooh, yeah, these are all really good, actually. So if there was ever a dream of getting Bookworm value, we would want to go with the Twilight Whelp. Shredder is just a very, very strong turn four tempo play, and having some type of AoE in the deck probably wouldn't hurt as well. So these are all pretty solid. We don't have any one drops, and we do want to get some Dragon Synergy. So I'm not against the, the Twilight Whelp, but I think having an AoE is probably the better play. Yeah, that's that's solid. I have actually never gotten to resurrect a Shredder before, but that seems really appealing to me. That's awesome. Old, yeah, I forgot about the Onyx Bishop. The good old yeah. Shredder and a Bishop. I also think Shredder is just so strong that you just pick Shredder. Um, yeah. That said, we might not even. Yeah, you're right. We might not even need Holy Nova if we just, you know, Shredder into Shredder. Like, yeah, we'll never, curve out. We'll never be behind. I almost feel like, like Holy Nova is too slow. That's uh, true. Like five mana deal too. Not to say it's not a good card. I believe the arena rating site has Holy Novas better than Shredder. I just disagree. I think. Oh, there's like a oh, there's like a way to like rate these cards. Yeah. Rate each other. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, Shredder's good. I'm just scared that we're not gonna have enough early game, so that kind of makes me want to take the one drop, but it's just really bad. I think Priest of the Feast is probably better. Yeah, one man two ones are surprisingly not that bad. I mean, they're bad, but they're surprisingly not that bad because it's gotten to be so tempo heavy. I think. Mm -hmm. Uh, I like the Spellbreaker. Yeah. It's the trash cards. Ooh, hey, there's, there's the card my... you wanted. There we go. We don't even need the Holy Nova. We got the Light Bomb. I like it. Good. This deck looks pretty good, actually. Wow. Um, I like the Power Word Shield, personally. Mm -hmm. So far, the deck is looking decent. It needs, like, a dragon, I guess, yeah. maybe. And it needs lots of two drops. Yeah. Second Zubot looks pretty good to me. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, Tinker with the Shredders. I like it. And these Zubots. The Zubot's a mech too, right? No, Zubot is a mech, yeah. I think I want to go Mad Bomber though, because uh, if you don't go... If you go heal opponent's face in Arena, you actually lose. I think. Yeah, fair point. Okay, I like the Mad Bomber too. Yeah, it does seem strong in Arena, actually. You're right. Yeah, if um if I had more twos, the Technician would be a really good pick. Yeah, we are kind of hurting at the early spot. Shifting Shade, I would say. Yeah, that's good. Imp Master is a decent arena too, but you need a good early game to play her. I wonder how good Cleric is in arena. I feel like Ogre Brute could be decent. Yeah, Ogre but, Brute's uh, one of my more favorite three drops. We have a lot of threes though. Yeah, I, I would go with the Cleric. And I think in the stack you might even play it on turn one just as a one mana one three. Getting the heal value off Cleric is actually kind of tough these days. Mm -hmm. I like the Thought Steal. Yeah. Cult just like screams out to me, but like I feel like, is there ever a point where you like you take less, like you take less value just to go for more like two drops? Like obviously the dark cultist is just better statted, but absolutely there is a point. Um, and whether or not this is a point is actually a tough call. So uh, I kind of want to get something along the lines of six to eight two drops and priest. Right now we've got three, arguably four with the cleric. So with eight picks to go, we'd need to pick up three to five. If we went cultist. And we have a lot of three drops. It, it's really painful to pass up the cultist. But I feel like Berserker might be better. Yeah, I, I kind of like the Imani here. It's It hurts. It does hurt. Man, we're just not getting any quality one or two drops. I mean, Light Spawn has to be the play, right? I think so, yeah. Yo, let's get some Zubot value. Alright, Vilefin. Yeah. These Zubots are actually pretty good now. I feel like Saboteur is not bad in Arena. Yeah, he's not bad in Arena. He's got the classic card, which is uh, pretty good in general. Commander? I think we have yeah. enough threes for days, so... Yeah, we do have a lot of threes, right. Why Cultist wasn't picked. Okay, I like the Commander. Ooh, I like this. Is Menagerie a possible <laughs> pick? Mm, I don't know. Probably not. We have any beasts in here. Somehow, 
I think I haven't selected a single beast. I'll take Menagerie though. It's still the best play, just because Flash Shield is just a dead situational card, and the Grizzly, again, we already have a lot of three drops. It helps us curve out, too. We only have one five drop. Right. I like it. Oh, cool. I kind of like the Scarlet here. I know the Priest of the Feast is so strong. Is that crazy? Let's see how many fours. We've got one, three, five, six. And then threes, there's two, three, four, five. I think they're about same-ish in power level. Although having slightly less twos than I want makes me want to have like a little bit more three. Yeah. I'd go Crusader, I guess. Yeah, same. Oh my god. I feel like the we crush don't is actually fall. decent. The yeah? dragon for the bookworm. I'm just worried about making it to six. That's a uh, definite concern, but I'm not going to think those yeah, two. Yeah, it's definitely the only play they go with, though. And I guess Argus. I don't mind Argus, yeah. We have a lot of like sticky minions, and our four drops have a lot of high health. Mm. So, yeah, I like the Argus. I feel like if we can make it to turn four and not be like incredibly far behind, we have a pretty decent deck. We do have the Light Bomb as a recovery mechanic as well, and the Entomb. Yeah, we what do, do you, have what that. Do you, what do you guess? What's Shaq guessing for the uh, wins here? I'm guessing like maybe seven, seven or eight. Wow. All right. You'll be us with the ambitious guess. Oh, that's ambitious. Let's see. What's the, uh, what's the infinite amount nowadays? It used to be like five or six, right? Yeah, it's still around like still around six, five or six ish. Because of the quests, okay. if you want to go infinite. So we've got one, two, three, five, two drops. A uh, good amount of three drops. The three drop quality is actually very high. It is. And then double shredder and a shifting shade. Onyx Bishop is quite good. It's uh, not that much late game, but enough late game. I think the, the less late game you have, possibly the better you are these days. And you can always entomb something for late game. You've got that light bomb, which counts as late game or early game. Pressure. I think yeah. there will be some games where we don't get a two drop and then we're hurting. I'm gonna guess six wins. Versus Anduin. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Anduin Rin in 2016. Oh my god. What a scrump. Yeah, I know. It's not even golden. I'm liking. The, I'm liking that. That's a nice. That's a nice opening right there. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with Morgan. Obviously, let's get that Murloc on turn two. Are you gonna play the cleric on turn one? Yeah, I, I would do it against the priest. Yeah, I agree. Is someone injured? It's gonna be tough to play the bomber against that dragon egg. I know. Yeah. I think you still do it. Is that the, is that I was I was gonna say what's the reason for the dragon egg? Is he teching against the bad bombers? Those are probably <laughs> pretty relevant in arena. Bad bomber. What are you thinking? You I, think mad bomber or cycle with the cleric? Oh, hit that and heal. That's pretty good. I feel like mad bombers gonna set us pretty far behind because it's gonna hit if it hits the egg twice. We're in a really bad spot. It's true. It could hit the egg and then it could hit the wop though. I like the cycle more. Yeah. Try to draw into a four drop that we can point out, like a shredder. Once upon a time. Wow. I think this bookworm is going to activate like a deceptively large amount of time since the crusher is a really late game dragon. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're right. I forgot we got the crusher at the very end. We got that pick. Nice. Ooh. I honestly don't mind the coin defender because I, I just don't know if he'll have a way to deal with it. Like, could he deal with the two three? With no board presence. Like, we know he has a dragon in hand, so that card can't deal with it. I or should Defender enough. get a lot of value in this in this matchup, or in Arena in general? It Defender's usually good. gets, like, no value if you're behind, and then decent amount of value if you're, like, even-ish. I was going to go Crusader, but I like your Defender idea. I was thinking of that, and then I was like, eh, is that really worth it? I um, yeah. Crusader's not bad, of course. And he also doesn't have enough to deal with the Cleric now. He didn't cast a spell last turn. And I don't think there's that many 4-drop spells. Uh, so yeah, I'm basically torn between Crusader and Defender. So you get to do I think the Crusader like might be fine, just because hmm. if Crusader sticks... Well, the thing is Crusader... Oh no. Uh. And then do you want to hit this if we play Crusader? Well, then you're just letting the Cleric die. It's true, like but it's a face. trade at least. Face I think right. you go Scarlet Face, yeah. He's probably going to trade trade into Scarlet anyway. Maybe. That'd be fine with me. Yeah. The wow. Stand ready. He has another dragon in hand. 
Oh yeah, I just discovered one. Oh yeah, true, true, true. Is that the one that he discovered, or is that the one he had? So That's the one he had. Okay. Oy. I'm thinking uh, breaker and then hit. Yeah, I agree. I don't think this egg's ever really gonna punish us. Yeah, it's alright if the egg gets buffed also. We could have coined Bishop into the Crusader. It's pretty good from chat. That's true. Ooh. <laughs> it's like, ooh, an actual good card. What do you think about Shredder and then trading up into the dragon? Yeah, it seems solid. I wonder. Mm. And then pass after that? Yeah. I'll take that. I feel like we're going to end up using the coin in some type of, like, turn 7, turn 8 combo with the defender. Yeah. Maybe, like, turn 8, Onyx Bishop, coin defender. It's That'd be good. I feel like we're in a pretty good spot. We have a card advantage. We have a card like Dostia that creates even more card advantage. Got the hard counter to the egg. Oh, and tomb. That's uh, I think that's solid to entomb there. I think it's actually really solid, yeah. A 4-7. Pretty yeah. Cool. There are Death Piles, Cogmaster, Shredder, Cleric, uh, Crusader. Decent. It's like 50-50 good card versus bad card that comes out of it. Hmm. What this... do you think about Shredder, Coin Defender, deal with the Jeeves? I like that. And then we can always Onyx Bishop next turn, probably get increased value from the uh, Bishop. If the Shredder dies somehow here, which it probably won't. Yeah, Bomber dying, that would be fine. Bishop yeah. of Bomber. That's a pretty serious card. Did what do you think about fish? Thought Stealing? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was gonna play Onyx Bishop after. Yeah, I like it. What about Menagerie? And then can we trade up into the? We don't have anything oh, no, we can do. Yeah, it doesn't max. Ah, oh, oops. I think we do that, and then uh, well, I think Bishop. the two three is less good. The Bishop sell Bishop first. Bishop first, yeah. The game. Come on, give us our Shredder. I oh, know we did the. No, the first Shredder never died. Okay. Okay, I like it. We're in a pretty good spot. Yeah. Northshire should be pretty good to get you know, a little bit more card advantage. Greetings from beyond the grave. It is a little scary. Oh, he's gonna cycle for us. Nice. Do we have an answer to that card though? Oh, we do have Light Bomb, I guess. Oh, Beast. Oh, nice. Well, we can make that Beast a 6-6. A six, six. Right? Or or no, it's a 6-7. Six, 5-6, five, six, yeah. 5-6, five, 5-6. Six, five, six. The no more locks or dragons in front. Oh, dragon, actually. I wonder. I think uh, Bookworm and a Zubot, then double trade into that thing. I like it. Let reading dragons Ooh, we don't have a lot of high, high drops. Oh. Alright, that questing adventure is gonna go on quite the adventure. Yeah, we could do some questing, menagerie, shenanigans. You know, if we play questing this turn, we probably want to play two cards alongside it, right? Yeah. So like Scarlet and either the Feast or the Shifting Shade. If uh, this charge is actually or that, pretty yeah. much win. Do you think we can get? Do you think we'll actually hit it? Though I mean, we should go for it. Yeah, it doesn't hurt that much if we miss. I think. I feel like we have a very mid-range curve, but you could always pull a two-drop. Ah, it's all right. Yeah. I mean, at this, we're at the point where we can kind of ignore the 7-7, seven, seven, to be honest. That's true. We were always kind of ignoring it. 7-14. You said Inner Fire has been taken out of the Priest? That's right. Okay. Can't even get cheesed like that. 
Yeah. Hey, okay, another beast. Whoa, is this lethal? Yeah, thanks, magician. Should be enough. Nice. It's nice. This deck was kind of trashy. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, his deck was definitely a little bit questionable. Taranda versus Valera. Watch your step. Elune, give me strength. Rogue. What do you think about keeping power and shield? I'm actually not sure. I feel like we don't, I feel like if we had more early game, we'd probably be good keeping it, but because we don't have any two drops or one drops, I think it's more important to cycle into one of those two drops or one drops. Yeah, I agree with by that. By throwing it away. There we go. Nice. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, lead off with the cleric. Yeah, I like it. Is someone injured? It's one of those cards that kind of like kind of halts you in your tracks. You don't, you know, he probably doesn't want to play his one drop now. He probably has a one drop. If he did, now he doesn't want to play it. Tide. Yeah, I like the tide. I'm loving this curve. Nice. Yeah, that's what it's about. Oh man. Oh wow. Get him. Smart. Yeah, this is a really this is a really solid mid-range deck. I like it. Yeah, we happened to draw the one, two, three. <laughs> Actually, yeah. the, the, the tough part about this deck would be drawing the two. Yeah, which we've done successfully twice now. Kind of luck, kind of fortunate on our part. Um, I feel like Shredder's so strong that we kind of just do it. Yeah, do we trade into this wood face or just face? I feel like we go face. If yeah, it was like a, if it was priest, maybe trade. But right away. Yeah, I was thinking trade would allow the dagger to only get one charge, but. He can't really afford to play another weapon. Not only that, but turn nine Draconoid, or turn six Draconoid, nine nine. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty good. Sweet. Someone called this. Oh ho! <laughs> Mistakes were made. It's good though. He won't make that mistake again. I've I've made that mistake myself, so I can't be too harsh on him. Uh, I think thought stealing is probably one of the options or one of the plays here. I'm gonna want to draw a freebie card while this cleric's out here. Okay, yeah, yeah, because we're gonna make that trade. You're right. The one three is gonna go into the two one. Yeah, right and then away. you might as well heal it to get the cycle as well. All right. Because we do have a lot of three drops. I'd rather play a three, yeah, three drop minion here versus. Right into the fork. Yeah, I mean the shredder definitely has to go face to get draconoid activation next turn. I would say. Yeah. So I kind of like the Amani here. Yeah. I like, yeah, I like the pressure, pressure play. It would be too slow to go thought steal. Yeah, at this point, thought steal is gonna be uh, more of a control card. Yeah, I'd rather go with the tempo play the Amani. Probably worth it to try the bomber beast instead. Uh, yeah, I like it. I mean, All it's right. risky, but I like it. We're still pretty far ahead, so Draconoid next turn is still really, really strong. Yeah, and it's on curve regardless. Yeah. Womp oh, womp. Well. <laughs> Heal trade? Yeah, we have to. Can't lose on that shredder value. It's fine. It's alright. That was the only bad result to playing the uh, bomber, but it's all right. Ooh, that's good. You haven't played arena enough if you think that's the only bad result. Yeah, I could have killed the shredder. <laughs> that would have been definitely unfortunate. So assassinated the or sap, I guess, as well for the dragon. That's the only couple answers the uh, rogue has in the situation. Yep. So put on the big threat, I assume. Yep. And then if he's running some type of like Lord of the Arena, got the item there. I usually work alone. Oh, solid. Definitely solid. Get a mystery easy. 
I like it. You know what? Do you want to go for it? No. <laughs> you think just Drachnoid make him trade both in? Yeah, that's what I want to do. Okay. Yeah, we're so far ahead. It's probably not good to throw it here. Because if we don't get really good cards from the Thought Steel, then, we have to, then we're for, kind of forced to play the Onyx Bishop, which could bring back a 1-1 Murloc, and then we're actually really far behind. Yeah, I think it's, uh... If everything goes south, we still can win with the Thought Steel Eviscerate. Exactly, yeah. Thank you. Argent Horse Rider for the lethal. It's a beast. Just need one damage. I kind of like the Thaw Steel in that case. Yeah. Hmm. Well played. I wonder. I guess three and three is best. It's just really hard to do with that three one. Yes, that you know, two minions on board. Yeah, it's. I don't see a way he could deal with this board state. Would fan even be enough? Fan trade trade. Now nah, he has to take face damage. So yeah, should be a nice. Nice. Wow, this deck, man. We're like, ooh, it's a round day. <laughs> I'm excited for that card in like coming expansions. It's one of those cards that, you know, you never know. Once there's more early dragons or early beasts, you know, we could see that type of zoo deck come out. Yeah, it's one of those things that you always gotta look out for. It was almost there in this expansion. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not even sure if I should say almost there. I think it's two cards away. It's kind of close, yeah. I kind of agree, like two or three cards away. It needs a good Murloc, a good Beast, and I think and that's it, since early. we have they a have good Dragon. Like, they have to be like two drops, I would say. Yeah. Or even one drops too, like there's no one drop Dragons, other than like class cards. Right. Yeah, it's really missing the early game Dragon and the early good, uh, early game good Beast, other than yeah. Direwolf. Yeah, you're forced to run like Direwolf and Fairy Dragon, which don't do much in a vacuum. Uh, Zerker? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> it's, time for a little blood. it's usually a venge here. Are there any limitations on secrets? Like, did they take any of the bad secrets out to make Pally a little bit better? Or I don't know. I don't know what they would do for Pally. Oh, for Paladin, they kept it the same. It's the only they class that didn't get any changes. Gotcha. Reporting for duty. Who you want me <laughs> Man, we're just curving out nicely. I like it. Yeah, so we're gonna shield in Tidehunter, shield I guess? Her a lot. Yeah, too, just too much value to give up. Here comes the zoo bot. The synergy, boys. Oh, yeah, we're... Okay, I like... I mean, yeah, next turn's probably gonna be one of the four drops, but... Have you ever won the game? Wow, I feel like this Imani Berserker is working out pretty well in Priest. Yeah, Berserker is actually a very good in Priest. Uh, you usually want those two mana two threes, and then... Shrinkmeisters and Valen's Chosens are really good with them. Aw, oh, Shrinkmeister, I missed that card. Wow. Kind of... It's a little surprising how it was never quite good enough. Shrinkmeister also. Mm-hmm. That's all a little bit of play here and there. Alright, so trade, shade. What do you think about Priest of the Feast, just to have a bigger body? Because mm -hmm. I feel like the shade could potentially die into whatever he plays next turn, whereas the Feast could survive the trade, and then we might not even need to heal on turn 5, we could just play two minions on 5, potentially. I like that, especially since we have the assistant here, which will take yeah. out 5 health minions. Yeah. The, the shade is one of those better late game plays, because exactly, yeah. it has high attack, low health. We'll play it on 7, get his Tyrion, play the Tyrion on 8. Squire, attend me! Ready, sir. I kind of like Scarlet, Feast into the 2-2, two, two, uh, heal it, go face with the 2-1. Yeah, I like that. I think between Shredders and Thought Steel, we're gonna get that beast every once in a while for Zubot. Yeah, it's gotten value. Like, like it's not a card that we have to like keep in our hand for a while. It's been getting value like pretty easily. Yeah, I mean, you get one thing and that's good. I think in Constructed, if you only get one thing, it might be decent enough too. Would it still be better than, uh, what's it called? What's the 3 2 that gives you plus 1 plus 1? Mm. Shadow Sun Cleric. Shadow Sun Cleric. Because that's actually, like, directable, whereas this is random. So if it hits 1, maybe it's, like, about the same as a Shadow Sun Cleric. 
Hmm. What's the card yes. to compare it to? I mean, Shadow Sun and Cleric got nerfed because it was too good. True, yeah. How important is it to stop his cycle now? I feel like it is pretty important. Yeah, I don't want to give him a card. I think, even though this is off curve, I just go Shade. Yeah, I just go Shade. It kind of stinks that our hero power is kind of worthless. Maybe but, yeah. Zubot Thought Steal. That's probably better. Does the Zubot do anything though? Because if we're killing the 4 4 anyway, the Zubot gets no It gets value. a 3 3. Yeah, I get right. a 3 3 on board. Um, That's a 4 3, so it's not that big of a difference. I like it, yeah. I and like it. You get it. to toss in the Thought Steal while you're at it. I think it's more mana efficient, yeah. I like it. Ooh, Solemn Vigil. That's we could gonna... Solemn Vigil here. That was but... Zubot. Yeah, probably still better yeah. than this I think it's better to not be far behind and on board. We'll get solemn visual value eventually. Eh, maybe. It's possible it never sees play. It's true. More likely that it does since our curve is kind of low. We're probably better off playing it on some type of turn where we play the Nerubian Prophet so we don't lose too much tempo. Tazdingo! Reporting for duty. I'm thinking Blessing of Wisdom, this, and Spellbreaker. I was just about to say, yeah, I don't mind that. I was uh, originally gonna go with something like Light Spawn Pass. That's too and slow. We do, have, we do have like two or three two drops left, right? Okay, it's fine. We could always just heal it. It's still out of range. No, it's not out of range. 3 3. Okay, it's fine. Did a job. Hopefully, they, how, how likely is Tyrion? Do you run into a lot of Tyrion Paladins? <laughs> like almost never. Never? Okay. <laughs> I think Curve Bishop Prophet? Yep, I like it. The game begins. Nice. I hope you like my invention. Silver Moon shall not fall. Hmm. Well, we can make Solemn Vigil cost three this turn, and then we can still heal and then still play the Shifting Shade or the Light Spawn. I think that's good. Uh, the other play is to go just Crusher Dark Cultist. I think that gets the most stats on board. Okay. I don't mind that either, actually. Uh, which one do you want to kill with the 4-4 four, four, and the 3-4? Kill the 3 1 and the 2 3, or kill the 2 3 and the 2 2. That's probably better because of the 1 1s. It is, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, so double trade into this Pestaforin and then the 6 6 and 3 4. I like it. Really looking for the Shredders or the. Even the Argent Commander would be nice. <laughs> that's cute. Ah, uh, that's really good for him. Wow. No, it's not. Isn't it? Really? I mean, he, his first one didn't get anything. Oh, it didn't? Oh, okay. I didn't see. Oh, my bad. Sneeds. You, can you get you can get Sneeds, right? Oh, man. I missed that card. There we go. I feel like trade the 6-6 six, six into one of the 3-4s. The 3-4 goes face and then develop the sh probably the highest added minions, which would be the Light Spawn and the Shredder. Yeah, I like that. And then heal up the uh, Draconoid. Last turn, someone suggested um, Light Spawn Heal instead of Draconid. What do you think about that? Kind of gets five, seven worth of stats instead of six. Yeah, could have been the better play, yeah. It's close. We'd have to play out to see how this turn would end it up. Oh, nice. Nice. Good play on his part. Ooh, nice. Pretty awesome. Yeah. Oh man, we could do some millage here. Yeah, I think uh, we set it up so the shade and this thing get taunted. Yeah, we definitely don't want that Fell Reaver to die within the next couple turns. I think you trade the 3 4 into the 3 3, the 6 5 into the 3 5. Oh, and then, uh, yeah, as you said, Shredder Defender. Start. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> Oh man, 
Nice. Pretty good stuff from him. And then heal this one? Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah, I feel like Fall Reaver's more of a uh, constructed card. Just because you can build. I feel like it only belongs in like a super aggressive shell. And his deck kind of seems all over the place. Because it is arena. You can't always control it. You know, it's direction. Yeah. This deck was actually pretty solid. Yeah. I definitely kept up with those. Fall Reaver, by the way, is one of the best cards in arena. Uh, mm. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Wow. It's just uh, such a tempo-oriented format, so the drawback isn't that big a deal. I guess I'm kind of biased because we're so far, we were like kind of far ahead to begin with, so that's why it looks kind of bad on paper. But yeah, you're right. So if we play three cards, he's out of a deck. Yeah, we can play all three, right? With some trading here. Right. I feel like okay. do we play around the. Uh... Noble stack here first. Possibly do. Uh, this first. Into the breach. Into the breach. I was thinking trade the two three into the Fell Reaver, then kill off the North Kraken with the other two, and then drop the Mad Bomber to potentially have a one in what is it one in three for one of the bombs to hit the eight one. Unless it's Redemption, then we get really punished by that. But then we get like three solid vigils as well. You can go face the Nova stack. All right, nice. Pretty good. Shouldn't we, shouldn't we trade into the Kraken first? I wasn't sure if I was going to play the Kraken. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm going to play these two, I think. Okay, I like it. And that mills everything, right? Yeah. So pretty much we only have to deal with what's on the board now, which... I probably oh, should yeah, have traded into that. Nah, we're, we're good. I mean, I mean, we're good, it's just that. Unless that's Deathwing, we're good. Yeah, we're still good. Probably. Yeah, probably. Nice, man. Well, Murloc Beast, or Murloc Dragon. Wow, this Sleep is going to be thing. Zubats. Yeah, with the fatigue. Nice. Join or die. I'm assuming you'll toss all that. Yeah, I like it. Rusty Murloc. We've got yeah. like three Murlocs on two, so it's pretty typical to draw a Murloc on two. Yeah, I wonder what the math is if you do a hard mulligan. Three out of twenty set or one in nine with a hard mulligan, I wonder. Definitely above fifty percent. Yeah. Probably my ballpark estimate is like 60 to 70, depending on first and second. Mm -hmm. Oh. Got us. No. Is there a world where we use the coin here? I don't think so. No, because then he's just going to do a value trade. Yeah, he'd I mean, do a double value trade. Yeah. The thing is, if he does the value trade again next turn, that means... It's really bad for us if it just plays out by default. If we go coin tide hunter, he does two two into the two one, and then weapons into the two one. I wonder. And then we play this one, and then he just trades the one one into the yeah, two one. Yeah, yeah. There's no world where that's so strong. Wow, that's actually really good for him right right now in this position. Hopefully, it slows him down too. Yeah, it will. I was gonna comment on your comment of Tyrion. It's like usually you get Tyrion by swashburgling into him. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you probably have a better chance with swashburgler than you do with. Just a natural deck building with Paladin. Alright, do we get a Thought Steal or a Tide Hunter? Wow. Um, Tide Hunter, weapons, trades. I think it doesn't accomplish much, so Thought Steal yeah. maybe. I mean, you like, kind of block off tempo so he doesn't play a 3 drop, but I think we have a better chance here. Yeah, I agree. Hmm. Interesting. Well, that's good for us that we didn't play a Tidehunter since he didn't have anything. Very good, yeah. I 
kind of like the coin shredder just to get like some control back on this board yeah maybe uh feast coin feast then he can't deal with it okay but then he, if we coin feast he's probably gonna go off face whereas if we coin the shredder he might tr do some trading for us but yeah coin feast is probably what do you think gives us more stats I feel like Shredder might give us more stats. But, but he's gonna go for face with. with everything. So yeah. I think you go feast while he's got weak guys on the board. Okay, I like it. The plan would be, uh, in the ideal world, feast goes in the tier 3 and then we get the Shredder out. Yeah. Fine. That's fine. To the 4 3 shredder, right? Yeah. Let's hope we can take board. I feel like if we can take board back within like within this next turn, which we possibly can, we could stabilize. Not looking great, but it's possible. Yeah. I mean, if we draw defender, we're sitting very pretty. I agree there. Oh my god. I was thinking the uh, make the trade into the two three, then play the flame juggler with the light spawn, maybe. Um. Or do you think any more stats? Yeah, I can see either way with the. Uh, well, I think the four four the four mana yeah light spawns definitely yeah, play. Definitely agree there. You want to set up for Zubot next turn with the Murloc tide hunter, or do you want to heal the Shredder? Yeah, there's like a couple different ways. Yeah, there's, wow, there's actually a lot of ways to play this out. We try to get lucky. If he doesn't get lucky. Yeah. Okay. Let's go for it. Some luck is required here. That's fine. Second best result. Really? He has lethal? Wow. What happens you when you don't get one drop, or when you don't get two drop, I guess? Were you considering healing face there, or were you considering healing the shredder? I was. I was gonna play a minion. Oh, okay. Yeah, I never even considered healing phase there. I feel like that was just kind of losing. That's one of those uh, just fall to the inevitable plays. Yeah. You survive a turn, but then you just die the next turn. Yeah, exactly. That's fine. I was expecting to lose at least one game due to curve. Do you ever lose like a twelve a twelve win run like this early on, and still make it to like twelve and one from here? Yeah, that happens. It happens. I also want to showcase the power of going first. If we go first, we can get like the Tidehunter out. And... I guess that's still not so good. I'm not even sure we would have played Tidehunter. Uh, anyways, should we keep these two? Because this card's so good, or do you want to toss it? I kind of like keeping it. I like the action plan there you have. Yeah, I like that. Nice. Um, as is, right? There's actually not that much to heal in this deck. Uh, the health total of the minions are pretty low. Yeah, especially our early game minions. A lot of one health up through turn four or up to turn three. Even our Scar yeah, our Scarlet Crusaders have one health as well. That was a good draw. Yeah. Probably get some value on this turn, but at least we can kill the three two. Maybe, uh, maybe in the fortunate worlds we get the Shredder in, from the if Bishop. If we do, that's just insane. It's that's what, it's gross. gonna be like 33%. Depending on what he plays, like, I don't know if we'll be able to kill the Shredder off. Oh no, it's gonna be now with this thing dying off. It's gonna lower our chances a tiny bit more. Do you want to trade or do you want to go face? Is, yeah, I mean, is Max Mending that important? I mean, yeah, against a, against a Priest that is, or a Mage that has no way to buff this thing up. Maybe Max Mending going face is the play. Make him do the trade for. Is there a world where that gets us punished? Yeah, Arcane Dark Iron Dwarf, I guess. Arcane. Oh, um, uh, yeah, there's Arcane. a lot of neutrals that you. Yeah. I don't mind trading. I don't think the one damage is that important. But if you want to go face, we could smirk it up. Yeah, it's it's a small play, and yet it has like, small ramifications. I think a lot of the time. And there's also always the chance that you fire blast the Murloc, which 
would actually be good for us since that's a lot of mana on a 1-1. One, one. Mm -hmm. Ah, one damage in the bank. Oh. Uh, wait. Nice. I don't mind going for the trade Mad Bomber YOLO into Cultist. I agree. I was just gonna do that. Bon. Our Mad Bombers let us down though. Nice. Nice. Alright, it's fair. It's perfectly balanced. One damage to all characters. Yeah. I think that result happens more than 50% of the time. One damage to all on that situation. We'll have to, a we'll have to ask Mike Donace if it's programmed in. So we can assign the Berserker or the Shade to get buffed, or we can play Onyx Bishop and then have the result get buffed. One of these. I think it's definitely stronger to go Amani shifting. It's just a question of which one we want to get buffed. I almost feel like buffing the Amani is probably the better play. Yeah, this one wants to get higher health. Yeah, and the shifting Shade, we're almost, we're almost okay with dying because we want to get Also, from we're actually not going to get a buff immediately on this turn. What? Oh yeah, but you're right. That doesn't really matter. So we, it doesn't really matter. We could also much. not even do the trade. Well, yeah, we have to attack Berserker. I think that's yeah. fine. And then I like four. it. Yeah. But also Shade Heal. I think this is better. Me too. What do we want? I think Ronin. Oh, well, opponent's deck. I forgot I'm not a rogue for a moment. I'll still take a Ronin. In this deck. Dr. Boom. Dr. Boom would be awesome. What's the highest rated card? It's Dr. Boom. Dr. Boom, how's it say? Uh, I actually think some specific class legendaries might be higher. Like Tyrion, maybe? Yeah, I was actually checking. No, Dr. Boom's above Tyrion. Must for battle gets really close. Alright, charge? Yeah, I like the charge. Just stay ahead on board. We're still out of, I mean, we're still kind of playing around Flame Strike. Like, obviously, Flame Strike punches pretty hard, but. Yeah, not even that much. Not even that much, yeah. That's another good card to get resurrected. It's gonna be yeah, a exactly. pretty high variant in terms of cards that are resurrected here. Could be Argent Commander, could be 1 1. Find out. He has Polymorph, right? Oh, that'd be insane. Yeah, I, I, I think like, plus is the right play here. Uh, hmm. Well, I think the bishop's probably better. Do we want to put our? I mean, if we hmm. kill this thing off, we have to sacrifice everything, and we put our uh, shifting shade into ping range. I wonder. Yeah, I think we uh, trade this one into the divine shield first, and then we onyx bishop. Okay, I like it. Victory or death. Oh. Come back to us. Begins. <laughs> Running out of good stuff here. Yeah, I know. We're looking for our, uh, I would say, second Shredder, Priest of the Feast. Even Draconid, if we can get him into, uh, we can get him into. I know we're. No, yeah, we have enough to get him into Draconid range. Alright, we've got to control him. He's heal, I assume. Avian. With the tall strider? Yeah, okay. I was trying heal? to, I was trying to find a way to heal. Yeah, if we're, we heal the, if we heal it, we can only play one minion alongside it. Right. I think would be tall strider against this guy. I don't mind it. I like it. What? Next turn we can go five five. The cards in our hand are so bad. The main problem. So we have to use yeah, the zero power. If you kind of look at our deck, we don't really have any like huge power plays. Like yeah. we kind of just play a lot of mid-range tempo stuff. Hope for the best. We want to kill that, I assume. Yeah, for sure. Let's see if it's Effigy. Okay, so... Could be Entity, could be Vaporize. Do you want to go face with the Bishop? Or are we going to taunt the Bishop by any... Yeah, we probably would taunt the Bishop here, so... I kind of like the Avian and the Defender. I think uh, we might go Apothecary, because it's less bad to get mirrored. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it's a fair point. 
And yet, if it's mirror, can't really do that since it becomes fire blastable. But I think we have to. I guess Cult Apothecary, Defender of Argus, and okay. then taunt this one so we can kill the Cult Apothecary. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so it's. Alright, so I'll play spell. this. Yeah, it's either Counterspell, Vaporize, or Ice Block. You want it? And in our position, we can't play around Flame Strike at all. Which is scary. I feel like. What are the chances of drawing one Flame Strike? Pretty high, probably. I mean, it's like an auto pick, right? If it comes up. Yeah, it's an auto pick. What's Call the Wilds ranking on the uh, arena scale? Before the nerf. I wonder. Now, Call of the Wild is actually the highest rated card. Nice. Even after the nerf? I'm not sure not, if uh, that's been, been updated. Adjusted. Oh, okay. Yeah, that card's a nightmare constructed. I can't even imagine. In Arena. Yeah, where it's just all about blues. pure value. Exactly. I hmm. wonder. So, we know it's not Effigy. We know it's probably Ice Block or Vaporize or Counterspell. I don't mind playing the Bookworm with the Defender, protecting the 5 2 and just going all face. Hmm. What do you think? Do you think trading's a viable option here? No, I think we run out of damage if we trade, so I think yeah. I like Bookworm, Defender, then Double Face. Yep. yep. I think the Defender protects the, uh, Tall Strider. Yeah, I like that. We missed one damage, but 5-2 sticks next turn. Yeah, which is plus for damage overall. Yeah. Oof. Ah. Off the top? Or maybe he had it. Nah, I think that was off the top. Someone in chat will have to confirm, but I'm pretty sure that was off the top. Wow. Yeah, this would have been a decent trade, right? Yep. Or die. Hmm. Well, right now our minions are dead to this Yugen, but at the same time we kind of need to push damage. But at the same yeah. time we can't. So I think we trade trade and then just heal, pass. What yeah, I agree. Not sure how we ever deal with Fugen, but... Join or die. Well, we can't deal with in. our six. I mean, we can always tomb it still. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Wait, why don't we play the priest there? I felt like it wouldn't accomplish enough. You want it? But I mean, yeah. I guess he can't. Yeah, that's true. Oh, we should have. Eh, it's all right. So you took a card from this one. Yeah, that's down. counterspell. We're in trouble. I mean, the now the entombed. I mean, now the life bomb or the entombed don't really even help us. Hmm. Sometimes. I think we pass again. <laughs> yeah. Kills Tarande, man. I feel like that card's really strong, the uh, Ethereal Conjurer. Yeah. It's a really good one. Uh, it lost a little bit of power because of... Oh, that would've been good earlier. Oh, that would've been so good. I think that was the one card I was kind of hoping to draw. Oh, it's a light bomb. And then two. Womp womp. That was a solid mage deck. Taranda versus Anduin. The light shall bring Another Anduin, wow. Noon give me strength. Here's an interesting one. Is it oh let's mulligan that one. Uh do you keep the shredder? Is it that good? I feel like shredder's so good, especially with the coin. It is so Nervin good. Nervin seems pretty good too. I think that one's an auto keep. I think since yeah. we're keeping that, we have to kind of. I kind of agree. That. Yeah, yeah, I kind of agree. If we're gonna keep one, we can't really keep the other. It's pretty good. Yeah. Ah, uh, Anduin in 2016 again. <laughs> you will regret this. Interesting. Both these cards counter each other. Yeah, it's a perfect counter. 
Man, I miss all these uh, non-standard cards. I have to venture back into the uh, arena world. Wow. Do we ever coin Spellbreaker here? I feel like we do. Next turn, uh, there's the Bomber Prophet on Curve. Exactly. Yeah, I like it. Feels a little silly, though. I wonder. So if we don't do it, what do we do? We do Nerubian on Curve. He trades the 1-4 into the 2-1. And plays a 4-drop. It's worth it because of the situation. Yeah. yeah, it's just a really weird situation all around. I guess I could have gone face, too. Well, no, he can buff. He's a priest. Are you afraid of the dark? Nice. Then we'll go for the 2-2. Two -two. After trading. I like it. Yeah. That's some tempo. Yeah, wow, Nerubian Prophet, you were right. Pretty uh, pretty good value card. I remember uh, Chalky trying to make it work in constructed competitive play with uh, Aggro Shaman, actually. Not too far back. Interesting, is that with the 4 mana bump uh, evolve up? Uh, with the Master of Evolution? I think, yeah, he was running Master of Evolution, exactly, yeah. That's kind of why he played this card, yeah. It was decent. Yeah, I think you gotta watch out for Nubian Prophet. This could come into Constructed sometime. Yeah. It's hard to play it right now when there's, you know, 0 mana, 5-5 five, five taunts coming down, but... See, that's what you need, 0 mana, 4-4 four, four to counter it. <laughs> Alright, uh, I think Scarlet Healer and... Scarlet and Heal. Yeah, I like it. That's actually a pretty good card for us. Yeah, it's not even gonna do much. Greetings from beyond the grave. Is there a world where we entomb it though? Really close to being entombable here. I think there's a world where we don't kill this guy. And go Probably like shift to shade world. to Murloc, and then the Murloc stick what? Menagerie gets a lot of value next turn. Yeah, that's what I think. Or even okay. heal, and then you can guarantee that. I'm not entirely sure. That becomes a 2-2, two, two, and then kill it. That's 6 mana. And then it's either Shifting Shade heal, but that doesn't seem that valuable here. So, Shifting Shade Murloc. I think that's fine. I wonder. <laughs> Join or die. So everything kills that 3 health. Except the Murlocs. That's fine, the Murlocs aren't that important. Yeah, that would be a really slow tempo trade on his part, or value trade on his part, so probably okay with that. Holy Nova's pretty good here. Are there any other uh, tournaments for you in the horizon? I think anything comes to mind immediately. Just finished that World Series of Sealed, which may or may not be considered a tournament. No, it definitely is. A lot of, a lot of great players in it. Should be a good watch. It's definitely intended to be there for a good watch. Was there... Did they do the same thing as the first one with, like, the poker element? Yeah, it's uh, even more emphasized. Oh, nice. Right, so that's definitely the Entomb target, and I guess 4-1 and 1-1 one, one, one go into that. I like it. It's probably the best Entomb target we're gonna get. Forgot about that card, it seems pretty strong. Yeah, 6 9 Temple for 6. Closer. Yeah. I think we break this. Yeah, see what pops out first. Join or die. Straight off the board. I think Magician Thought Steal. Yeah. Or do you ever Shredder? Does the magician does the magician get any value if we if we play it? Yeah, it's got a tight on two, it. Two two. Oh, it's two two. Yeah, not yeah. one one. Yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah, I'm really excited for the next expansion. I really hope they release some like early beasts or dragons. Make the zoo the zoo deck a thing. Yeah, I think it would be really cool if uh, ladder counted. Well, like as in top ranks. Maybe not November. Well, maybe November. BlizzCon's early November. It's at the end of November, though, yeah. so... December. Yeah, it could be December. Yeah, what they usually do, or what they did last year, was, uh, like, December's, like, the one month where they kind of release all the cards in terms of, like, online, like, 
you know, show you what the card is going to be, and then January, everything comes out, plus the ranking, si the ranking system starts up again. That's kind of how they did it this year. Right, if I recall, though. Whoa! Uh, if only oh, we had oh one. Oh, my God. It's okay. We we'll, discover? Yeah, we'll just, Yeah, exactly. Is that the only death rattle? Ah. Oh. East, though. The Z bot. Yeah. Currently, it has to be all of these. Four plus. What is in Moon's way? Huge Toad? Because of the synergy? Yeah, I think Huge Toad's better. Not Dark Altist? Let's see, it's a 4 3 versus a 3 4. One less mana. The Battle mm -hmm. Cry on the Dark Altist is pretty good, too, though. Yeah. All right, I think we start see. with this and then see what happens. Oh yeah. Maybe they get a dragon. Aw. And I think about it, this doesn't actually matter since this was gonna die anyways. Yeah. Sword. Yeah, that's fine. It's all good, he doesn't have any cards. I just wanted to get a beast or a dragon. Bookworm hasn't gotten value yet. What a but... shame. Yeah. That was it though, if there was ever a time to get value. I know. 310 taunt. I'm seeing the four, five, seven here. Three, seven, ten. Yep. It's kind of. Don't worry, loves. The cavalry. I want to work here, but yeah, it's probably better to just trade. As a priest, it's important not to get uh, too hasty. Yeah. Just control the board, and you win, even if it's not that exciting. Survival Valley. Nice. Forgot which one's attacked. Alright. Should go, yeah, just the Ultra Valley on the 2 2. I like it. At least we're undefeated against priests. That's right. Proving that Tarande yep. is a must get for the priest yep. mirror. Have you ever gotten Deathwing in a situation like this? I don't think I've ever gotten that. Uh, it's definitely happened to people. Doomsayer. Come on, now go for the Doomsayer. This chance. He's just dead on board, right? Yeah. Yeah. You have been. Thank you. So this one probably puts us in the uh, break-even range if we get a win here. I think you break. I mean, are we talking break-even as in buying the pack value? Oh no, I meant like the to get the 150 back. Uh, yeah, I think cost. about six. With the quest, like we got 80 gold off of quest, so we only need 70. Oh, that's a good. Uh, that's pretty good. That's, that's a good, good actually. Yeah. It's even better when you get it in the hand, but it's still really good. That's the thing about Nerubian Prophet. It's so good if you start with your hand, but without. It's bad top good. deck in the late game, yeah. A lot of people think it's seven to break even, but I I like to count quests into since the quests give you money. Yeah, it's a good way of looking at it. So that would mean it kind of drops from 7 to 6-ish. 7 would definitely be profitable. I think uh, 7 average is very oh, profitable, shit. in fact, not just profitable. I'm not giving hope. I'm not giving up hope on this run. Yeah. Well, pretty good for us. In our next turn, New Rubian. Hopefully we, hopefully we top deck a 4 drop, we have so many of them. This is a shame to get the Onyx Bishop and have like three Mur three of the Murlocs and summon the Murlocs yeah. in this deck. We have like a lot of weird synergies going on, like we have the Murlocs for the uh, Zubots, but then we have like the Shredders for the Onyx Bishop, they kind of counteract each other a little bit, but it's been working out pretty well. I imagine 
You wouldn't really ever do the axe into a 1-1. Ooh. We caught on his part. There's caught the... on our part. Yeah. Maybe it becomes the uh, bishop card. So it becomes like two good bishops and two bad bishops. But even if you get a 2 1 off the bishop, it's we still a 5 5. Kind of. Yep. And here the 1, eh, the 1 1's pretty bad. The 2 1's decent. Come on, just give us the, the priest the feast. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's really that's good. Real good. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like Onyx Bishop has potential to be a really scary card. Yeah, I mean, when it was just the first wing of Karazhan, I actually thought Priest was temporarily a decent deck. Yeah. Because uh, no one else had gotten their Karazhan cards yet, and Onyx Bishop... That was the strongest Priest has been in a while. Agreed. Oh man, are we gonna get the dragon? Ah. Oh, I feel like we have to Entomb it. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. What's the Sludge Belcher rating? I'm curious. That's probably in the top, like, 20, maybe? It's slower than I would have ranked it. Really? Man, I missed that card. Ah, oh, missed Dragon yet again. Could, uh, we could... Let's see. Definitely Thought Stealing, I think. Yeah, I agree. And that thing and then, is going to become a, if it kills the 3-1, 5-3. I guess Priest of the Feast is probably our play. With the Prophet? Yeah. Now I the guess we could see what we get out of the Thought Steal. Exactly. Like bash. So an interesting question is, do you want to play Priest of the Feast first? It, it's 3 health, but 3 health probably doesn't matter. We'll look a little silly doing pre Thought Steal into Priest of the Feast, but I think it might be right. Oh, I see what you're saying, to heal your face a little bit. Right. I don't mind it personally, yeah, I don't mind it. I think the chance of getting a card that is going to be better than playing Priest and Nerubian Prophet is not high. Although it's possible, but it's not high. So yeah, it's I think probably it's, gonna be it's not high enough. Yeah. I'll take the 3 health. Alright, good call. I think we still would have played the Priest over the Gorilla Bot. Yeah, we got this synergy. That's... Yeah, it's nice. Gorilla Bot's actually pretty good in this deck with two Zoo Bots and Shredder. And this card is uh, actually Dr. Boom level. Almost. No. Yeah, feels like it. This guy's running the bolster deck. Man, that ping really stinks, because now we uh, can't go double four job. Or we, I mean, we could. Yeah, we can just do that. Okay, I like that. I like yeah, that. Right. We could do a seven drop. Uh, double four, probably better. What? Shouldn't you play the Gorilla Bot first? Nope. That would be awful. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oops, disregard that. Wow. I forgot it wasn't this. I, I, I thought it was like, if you have if you have a mech in your hand. Bell Reaver, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Hey, that's my king! <laughs> Man, I'm so rusty with the uh, non-standard cards. It's good seeing them all again, though. It's nostalgic. You smell like a Have you played any wild? Not really, man. Very little wild. Is it one of those things that you would if it were supported more competitively? Oh yeah, for sure. For the crusade. I try to, like, yeah, I try to stay in the uh, competitive formats. Mm -hmm. I would like to see it happen. I think it's, I think it's a potential to happen. Hopefully. Yeah. I also do think it's a potential to never happen. Very true. I wonder how Magic made it work. I know Magic has like, you know, multiple formats. Not only two, but like they have multiple what competitive formats. Now? Does I? Yeah. Uh, maybe eventually there will be like a extended standard format similar to Magic's format. I think the Magic uh, four years format is the best one. Maybe. All right, trade destroyer. I like it. Destroyer seems really strong in Arena, wow. It certainly is on this board. <laughs> A powered shield would crush. Or Defender of Argus. What do you 
do you think about Fel Reaver and Argent Horse Rider? And then trade yeah, everything I like off. that. Don't worry, loves. The cavalry's here. I traded that in a way that you did not expect. Yeah, that was actually... I never thought of it, but that, that's... Yeah, it's probably worth it. I mean, I traded it off in a way that I didn't expect. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna play this and I'm gonna... Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I would've played the Crusader over the uh, Horse Rider if I was intending to do that. And yet, you know, this is... It, it is not like that it, bad. Yeah. I kinda like it, in it's, a weird way. It's, it's way worse than playing the Crusader. But... It might be better than Horse Riding into... Whatever I killed. Mm -hmm. 1 The gates are open. Get him. How much we push next turn? It's to 11 plus 7, 18. Okay. On powered shield. That's the first time we've drawn that. Yeah, wow. Great, I guess. Yeah, it's done a lot of work. I wanted to keep that thing alive. Did we ever tempo a uh, bookworm here? Hmm. How much power do we have on board if we just dump their hand? Uh, 10, 15, 16. I think we just pass. Yeah, we have tur two turn lethal anyway. Probably yeah. so. I definitely don't miss uh, Snow Chugger, being a warrior fan myself. <laughs> or Shredder into hey, Snow Chugger. I super don't miss Shredder. I mean. I was okay with the concept of Shredder, it's just that it was too good. I think we make a pit stop on the teacher. This yeah. Guy. What? I think we'll still be able to have lethal next turn, even with that trade. Yeah, I'll go Tidehunter Magician. Mm -hmm. Astonishing. Green. Looking forward to him busting out some kind of miracle there. Well played. Well played. There's definitely a lot more uh, respectful people in Arena with the emoting. A lot more greetings instead of well played at the end of uh, constructed matches. True. Maybe it's because uh, Aronde commands that kind <laughs> of re respect. I would like to see them go. Uh, I feel like they're kind of, you know, they're, they're using a lot of elves, but they're kind of ignoring the, uh, you know, the orcs and the, uh, you know, the gnomes. Could maybe right. delve into those guys a little more. I was almost certain that Milhouse Manist or no, not Milhouse. Um, Wilfred Fizzlebang was going to be a warlock hero just for the mix-up. I think I'm going to toss the Shredder. I think it's really Dang. important to get those early game cards. Okay. We've got two I think the one game we kept that we actually lost. Yeah. Two priests with a feast, shifting shade, two shredder. Yeah, good call. I mean, we got the second one in the end, and not enough early game, but Topi is a slow start. <laughs> Let's hope. Hey, we got the catch up card. Hey, we got Bookworm and Crusher. <laughs> Might get value for once. Oh man, that card. I don't miss that card. <laughs> you will regret this. There we go. Powerful. Yeah. Because it's the priest of the feast that goes first. Yep. Accept the shredder. Yeah. The classic. Wanna punch this guy? Yeah, he's gonna I mean but let's see if he trades into the shredder. Yeah, I think punching it's fine. Yes. 
I wield the power of the black. Oh. The wow. <laughs> Shade, I think. Shade, yeah. It's alright, we'll catch up with this bomb. Maybe. Do you think Scarlet would might have been better though? To make him waste the ping at the very least? Maybe. That's what I was considering. Now you trade it with the black wing. Oh man, ooh. Oh, that's too good. I'll take oh that one. Oh my god. He's uh... He's playing around the light bomb pretty well. Oh, but yeah, we do have some good book for value at least. Nice. Finally gets value once. Man, that was some value though. Probably, yeah, it's probably as good as it's gonna get for Arena. Constructed, probably Thunder Bluff's the best value. Yeah. Uh, creeper, probably. Light bomb's worth considering. If we light bomb, then we can go like Creeper, Power Word Shield next turn. Yeah, and then if we Creeper, it's possible that he can't deal. I mean, it's possible it gets. Well, he's almost out of cards. Light bomb is probably. Yeah. Agreed. This could be it. Got the Creeper Shield play? Creeper Shield, I mean, yeah, he still doesn't have enough power on board to deal with it, so... Just hope he doesn't have the, uh, the Polymorph. Yeah. If he doesn't have it, we're in decent shape. Ooh. Still has enough for the Polymorph. Okay, so he didn't pick up Polymorph. What's worst case scenario there? Probably Effigy. That would be pretty bad. Or Duplicate. Oh yeah, wow, forgot about that one. Regardless, we're charging in, I think. Yeah. Could play the Prophet first, or it could play just a weak 3-drop first in case it's... I wonder. So like one of the Zubats? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think Zubat Commander is good. Yep. Yeah, because yeah, Amani's probably stronger than Zubat for a mage with the ping. So, yeah, nice. Alright, so it's not Mirror. Hopefully not Duplicate or Effigy. Well, that might be too slow for him. Fine. Yeah, I mean, if he doesn't have a board figure here, he did just fall asleep, but... Oh, he'll never run enough steam, but it's... Ooh. Alright. Get an answer? Yeah, let's take his Polymorph. Yeah. Wow, he's got another Bog Creeper in there. <laughs> oh my god. So if we somehow win this game, we're we're gonna have to go through four Bog Creepers. Bog Champ. Oh, uh, Bog Creeper, right? Yeah. Amazing. Brilliant. An autograph? Hmm, I suppose. Wow. Oh my god. Oh, well, that wasn't that bad. I mean, the Divine Shield on the Taunt and the Shredder with Wind Fury, though, it's kind of bad. It's kind of bad. It's kind of fortunate on his part. Yeah, I mean, if it got the Divine Shield on the Bond Creeper, that'd be. Yeah. We can't even really get. Not I was going to say, if we get some cycle into something, but we can't even really get Northshire value this turn. Yeah, we can at least get a strong. Tempo play with these three cards? Yeah, I say whatever we play, you know, don't let that Shredder get the win for value. Wait, the, yeah, that's like, impossible. I don't think we can kill the Shredder. I oh, mean, right, like, right. Yeah, don't let him trade into, like, a, a three attack minion. So, yeah, without the Divine Shield. So, yeah, I like the three or the three minions you were pointing at. Okay. Kind of make a Shredder a little bit less valuable. I'm sure you didn't get a Fireball in there, right? <laughs> Well played. Hey man, I like these arena guys. I like the well played. I like the good sportsmanship at least. Pyro, nice. Pretty good. Five wins, not bad. Not bad. A little short of what I wanted, but I'll take it. On the bright side, we managed to show our supremacy over those Anduins. <laughs> 
exactly. And let's hopefully get a good uh, good pack here. 110. That's uh, infinite with a 40 gold quest. Yeah, nice break even. I've got two packs from retiring a run earlier before I got the Tarambe. Aw, nothing good. What? That's, that card used to be insane. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair point. Actually, incredible this card isn't insane. It's 4 mana, 410. I saw, yeah, I saw someone get Legend actually with Cthulhu Druid on, uh, on, Red, on competitive Hearthstone Reddit a couple days back. So hmm. maybe it's making a comeback now that Yaw got nerfed. But uh, hey, Trump, it's been fun, man. Appreciate the uh, appreciate the matches. Appreciate all the uh, Trump viewers for tuning into the to the conquest and the arena run. It's been fun, Wolf. So you definitely brought some decks that I never would have in there. <laughs> nah, it was fun, man. Uh, I don't know how you know. I don't know how viable it is against other classes, but. I'm really Pretty impressed. Fun. You didn't like bring an obvious deck such as Nizoth Priest or Cthulhu Priest. I was like, yeah, Vilpius will probably bring. Oh no, nah, man! I gotta gotta bring, gotta make it a little bit more interesting than that. That's fun. All right, well, here's Vilps. Good matches. Yeah. Have a good uh, rest of the stream, and uh, so long to all the Trump viewers.